So yesterday I posted a video on Instagram how I wrote with this pen here and a lot of people asked me how I inserted this dip pen nib into this pen and so I thought I'm gonna do a very short video showcasing that. So if you want to replace the nib on an Ahab you first need a nib so I got a vintage nib a rose nib by E. W. Leo, I think, and um, you want to choose a nib that will be the same in curvature and length, approximately to the original nib that comes with the Ahab. And um, this is friction fit. So what you do is you literally grab the feed and the nib, twist it, and it comes out. And um, I took the barrel off, so this is just the filling mechanism screwed to the top here. This is your feed and this will not be used. This is our nib. And I will just hold this on here. And what you want to make sure is when this is aligned, you don't want to have a space that's too big. This is like, if your space is the size of this, the ink will not travel to the tip. You want to have this as close together as possible. So hold this together and insert the nib and the feed back into the body. And now I have a little bit of a misalignment. So you really just want to play with this. This is why you should work with an empty clean pen. Otherwise your fingers will look like that because that's what happened when I tried to do this with ink on there. I had it cleaned, then I filled my pen and needed to adjust my nib. So you want to do this as good as possible before you put any ink in there. So, okay, I think that's misaligned again. And you really, this is a lot of tinker play, but okay, I think we are getting there so soon we will be there it's really just playing and hoping that it'll fit at some point so i had this working yesterday so i'm just positive that it will work again okay this does look pretty good now it's quite narrow connected if it will focus let me check that okay so that's what it looks like Okay, now we can, oh, I did do something here with this tube thing, I kind of misaligned that, so I'm just going to straighten it out and put it back in there. Closing this and putting it into the hole. And you want a wet flowing ink for this because otherwise you will not get anything out. I've tried it with Apache Sunset and it worked. Now I'm gonna try it with Black Swan in Australian Roses by Noolers. Just put this in there. And I so my battery died, but I just uh, pulled the ink out of here, did wipe this down a little bit and screwed the back on and then I just tapped it to get the ink out and flowing and then all you have to do is write. And that's how you use a flex dip pen uh, in an Ahab. 